Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nhi. Uh, I'm going to present our paper, uh, NPC Cash, Privacy Preserving Multi-Party Cooperative Cash Sharing. Uh, this is a joint work with uh, Yu Nguyen. We all are from uh, Arizona State University. Uh, in this paper, we present a new NPC application, uh, Catchings. So I'll start with a traditional network model. So currently, uh, caches uh, resides in public clouds or mobile calls. So you can see here, and it's been thus if very far uh, from end users. So with edge computing, uh, the cache are closer to the end users. You see here, right? And uh, it helps to reduce the network operation costs. Uh, because that's uh, the shared cache among different uh, operators can reduce the storage and uh, duplicate contents. That is why we come up with a new problem, multi-party cooperative cache sharing. So uh, as you know, the shared cache is capacity limited. So a uh, main question is uh, which files should we should be storage in cache? So first, uh, it should be a common files, right? Uh, for example, uh, breaking news or mobile apps. And second, uh, the files should be popular. It means that uh, the file usually access or queried by users like uh, weather information or Google Maps. Uh, however, uh, many data files uh, might contain some information of the users. Therefore, the uncommon data must be kept private and maintained by private catch. Also, Individual a set frequencies of each file uh, should be private. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we need a, uh, to solve another question, how to protect the uncommon files and individual access frequencies. So that's why we come up with the new problem, which is called MPC cache. So formally, uh, we consider a problem settings as follows. Mm. We have n parties. X have a set of file and values, x, i, and b, i. So for, for example here, you have, uh, uh, we have the operator A with the file F1, and they have VIs in the number of access frequency of the file x, i. So here, VI equal to, V1 equal to 8. And the goal is that uh, parties want to output the set of comments and K priority files. So it means that, first of all, XI star is the common files of all parties. So for example, here we have the common file A, F2, because both parties have F2. F4, F7, and F9. Also, uh, we have VI star must be K priority values. So for example here, VI V2 star equal to 55 because it's a summation of uh, 36 and 19. And then if K is equal to 30, then only two files satisfies uh, the requirement, which is F2 and F4. Um, so now uh, we are going to see how to implement NPC cache. Uh, this problem similar to multi-party private set intersections, where each party have a set of items, and they want to compute the intersection of the sets. So we can use PSI here and party 
can output a list of common files XI store. So the next step is that uh, the party have to be together, compute VI star, short them, and then uh, get K priority values. So clearly this solution is efficient, uh, but it reveals a common files and a sorted value. So we really want to implement MPC cache uh, without any leakage. So our solution is based on PSI computations. We call PSI C, or sometimes people say circuit PSI. So the functionality of PSI C give our parties a common items under a secret shared form. So therefore, the parties can fit the shares into the next steps. Uh, here is, in this case, he obliverse K priority and output a list of common K priority values. So concurrent with uh, ours is a paper from CCS last year. And uh, uh, their papers uh, focus on generic PSIC and also their protocols uh, is secure up to and over to colluding policy. So in summary, uh, we make uh, three main contributions. The first one is a new MPC application, uh, cooperative cash sharing. Uh, second one is that we propose an efficient multi-party secret shares PSI soon, where each party have the set of the pairs. And uh, the output is that if all the XIs, if the XIs is common, then each party obtains a share of VI star. Again, where VI star is the sum of all values associated with the common XI star. And otherwise, each party have the share of zero. So for example, here you see F1 is not a common value. So uh, the party have the share of zero. And otherwise, like P2 or F2, this is common files. So they have the share of uh, 55. And lastly, we propose an efficient or previous top K for small K. And in this setting, we have, again, we have N uh, parties and each have the shares of the set PIs and with the public threshold K. And uh, the output is uh, a K priority values. So you can see that when combined two and three, we have one uh, NPC cache. So in this book, we uh, consider two popular threat models. Uh, the first one is decentralized model. So uh, uh, is that model secures again any number of uh, corrupt colluding semi only parties. And therefore, it requires all participants involved in the end-to-end -end system executions. So for that model, it is provide strong security, but less efficient. And in server aid model, uh, it secures as long as uh, we have two specific parties, they are don't collude. So for example, here we have P1 and P2 do not uh, collude each other. And other parties can be considered like outsource their computation to the, the, the two specific uh, parties. So therefore, 
this model is more efficient, but uh, weak security. In this talk, uh, I focus more on decentralized model and please see the paper for more detail on server aid model. Uh, before going into our constructions, uh, I wanted to review a crypto primitive, uh, which is Oblivious Programmable PIF. In OPPIF, uh, both have a set of XI and VIs, and Alice query on X and obtain VIs if X equal to XI and random otherwise. So the security requirement here is that uh, Bob doesn't learn anything about X and at least learn nothing about XI and all the VIs. All right, uh, so go into our constructions. Uh, for simplicity, we consider each party PIs have only one items. So XI and VI. And here we have four parties in this slice. And the main goal is that uh, if all XIs are equal, so the party have the share, secret share of the sum VI star. And otherwise, our parties obtain the secret shares of zero. So uh, the key idea of our solution is using OPPF and garbled circuit. So concretely, uh, we use OPF between P1 and all the parties. So for example, P1 and P2 run OPPF, where P2 inputs the X2 and V2 minus W2. So where W2 is a random values. And P1 obtains U2. So you, you can see that U2 equal to V2 minus W2 if X1 equal to X2 and random otherwise. So party do the similar thing and uh, P1 get U2, U3, and U4. So we have the very nice observation is that if all XIs are equal, then we have a V1 plus with all the UIs plus with all the WIs equal to the sum VI star, right? So therefore, uh, for number one, P1 share is W1 equal to the, the first ter two terms, V1 plus all the WIs. And PI share is just a WI. So the, the more challenge part uh, thing here is that, uh, if all xi not equal, the sum right now is a random value because OPPF. So we really need that um, they obtain 10, the secret share of zero. So for two, we use zero shares and goblet circuit. So how we do that? Uh, first, we, the party jolly generate zero shares. So each party have a, a zero share CIs. And then we use OPPF where, for example, P2 concat the Z2 together with V2 minus W2. Because of OPPF, uh, P1 obtained T2. And T2 equal to Z2 if X1 equal to X2 and random otherwise. So similarly, uh, P3 concat the Z2 
and do OPF with uh, P1 and the same for P4. And now uh, similar to what we have before, if all the Xi's are equal, then Z1 actually with all the Ti here equal to zero, right? So that's why we use the Gabor circuit to check the equations. And if, yes, the equation is correct, then uh, the, the Gabor circuit gives a refresh charge of V star, otherwise a share of zero. So this is how we do a secret share PSI sum for one item. So now consider if the parties have the set of the pairs. So we use a very popular hash to be technique. So P1 gives a cuckoo hashing and place his items into the bin. And because of cuckoo hashing, so each bin has as much one item. All the party use uh, sim simple hashing and therefore each bin contain more than either zero or more than uh, one item. And now uh, they we do OPPF uh, bin by bin. So we continue to do bin by bin and record that OPF, the sender can have the multiple, uh, a set of uh, the pairs, right? Uh, the security of our scheme uh, is based on its building blocks like OPPF, uh, zero shares, and Gabo circuit. All right, uh, so now we go to another contributions of our work. Uh, this is a new protocol for Oblivious Top K. So our main question here is how to find a Top K element from a set of M secret shares elements. So the first solution is to use oblivious sort. So it means that you can sort M items using divide and conquer. And then turn get it to get a top K items. So this solution uh, require a number of uh, comparison is M log M square. Uh, the second solution is using oblivious hip. So the hip uh, give you, allow you to get the maximum items from the hip. And it means to get the top K, you have to repeat the, the process K times. Therefore, the number of interaction draws at least k log m. Uh, so we propose a simple oblivious top k uh, protocol. So unlike a uh, shock based uh, uh, approach, we do divide, conquer, and truncate at the same time. So uh, therefore, our our scheme requires. Uh, a number of secure comparison is m log k square, and the number of interaction rows still log m. So we compare uh, our work uh, with our uh, with short, and you see here we show around two to four times improvements. And here is the complete performance report of our MPC catch. So for example, with the large number of parties, uh, like uh, six things, uh, our protocol takes around uh, eight minutes. So this is a reasonable running time for the considered uh, applications. Uh, so there are, there are a few uh, open question, uh, problems. Uh, first of all, how to improve the scalability, the performance of MPC cache. So right now we, uh, our construction 
is from symmetric keys operations. Therefore, it requires high communication costs. And in some applications, uh, it requires to run on slow network. The communication cost might be a bottleneck. So the, the question here is how to combine MPC with other like homophic encryption to reduce the network cost. And the second question here is how to extend uh, our work for malicious adversaries. So in the catching applications, I think it's okay. I mean, it's sufficient to uh, design the MPC cache secure again, semi-honest so, uh, adversaries. Uh, however, in some uh, other applications, it requires a stronger security guarantees. So extension to malicious setting is another open questions. And that is this is done with my presentation and thank you for listening.